how much information do you really have when you make decisions? Um, today we're talking about all things decision making and big data. And this is very applicable, obviously, when it comes to business. I'm John Harris, and welcome to another episode of Exponential Radio. So, by 2025, the end of next year, um, they're already believing that many countries will replace the old census with utilizing big data. Government has access to a lot of information on citizens, and it can get more accurate uh, data and meaningful information from, from digital. Uh, so that's something that needs to be looked at. Um, the other thing, you know, obviously, is that information from the citizens will allow them to uh, solve problems quicker and, unfortunately, be more effective with tax. So we'll talk about some of the positive things, as usual, and some of the negative things. These are a few ideas of things that are starting to come forward as we head towards uh, general AI, which is now apparently headed for 2029, which is very frightening. Um, some of the positive things, look, you, you're going to have better, faster decision making. Obviously, you've got more information and more facts. You can make better decisions and you can do it faster because it's now digitized. Real-time decision making, uh, doing it on the fly and being able to get real-time information, critical. Um, the, the open source um, that's been utilized as well for the open source and for the data um, is also more innovative. So people are being able to create very innovative products, and many people are involved in that. Um, less complexity, I don't know if you've noticed, but for me, things will get more and more and more complicated as we get more and more and more documentation, more and more authorities trying to keep track of us. Um, AI is going to simplify that for good and bad, and uh, it'll make it easier for the citizens, um, for sure, more convenient. So we're probably going to want to do some of this stuff. Um, on the other hand, we'll talk about the negatives just now. But uh, there'll be a cost saving reduction in, say, in cost is very important when it comes to government, especially you can look at this administrative inflation, especially in South Africa, where it's uh, having a massive impact. In fact, most of the inflation we have here is administrative inflation. Um, so the other thing we can look at is there will be some jobs that are uh, created to handle the implementation of these things and the, co the, the co 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 coordination um, and uh, getting the correct information out as well. So those jobs will be looked, but on the negative side, there's going to be a lot of job losses. So you can just imagine how people are going to start losing jobs. And as I've said, I think you're still going to get the mindset right that all jobs are going to be eviscerated eventually. This is not going to happen overnight. There's a timeline here. Um, but jobs are going to, in the future, they'll be saying, well, why did you guys waste your time doing work? So we're going to have to replace that time with something constructive, and that's going to be a real big problem for humans. Um, some of the things to look at is, is obviously this privacy concerns, and this is showing up everywhere. It shows up on the social platforms. It's showing up as far as um, the intrusiveness of, of, of uh, uh, some of the government organizations, some of the government departments, uh, obviously, as far as cyber attacks, as a, privacy is a real big problem. And we have other things coming up with AI because it has the ability to uh, replicate in a way which we'll talk about just now. Um, so the other one you're going to think about is uh, the algorithms on the open source, who owns them? And we've seen this already with ChatGPT, and it was an open source non-profit that's in its uh, articles of uh, origination. So... Now there's a big problem because uh, they're now for profit, obviously, and some people aren't happy about that. Um, the trust in the data, how accurate is that data? Um, the people operating the data, what kind of filters have they putting on there? And there are quite a few trust issues along, along the way there. Uh, so we're going to have to fight our way through those problems. There will be legal battles as well when it comes to these algorithms. Um, you know, we said the next war will be a war, war, a war of water, about water. I'm pretty sure one coming up pretty soon is going to be a, a war of algorithms. Who owns what? Um, that's going to become something that's pretty... We'll create more jobs for lawyers anyway. Some of the other things we can think about are that profiling I spoke about in, in these different contexts, but in the context of j general intelligence, artificial intelligence, being able to create a digital duplicate 
uh, that will not be really easily discernible from whether it's a, a person or a di digital um, setup. So that's going to be difficult. You can imagine as far as fraud and things are going to be concerned, it's going to become very tricky when you have a clone and uh, the voice, everything, the, the actions, um, the expressions is artificial. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. I don't have answers for many of these things, as you can see. These are many ideas that you can think about. Um, there might be some places of interest for you. You can earn a living. Uh, obviously, cyber security is going to be a big issue. They're going to have to use AI to check AI, that's for sure. Um, the regulatory environment is also going to be changing. So you're going to have um, business, the regulatory environment is going to change, business is going to change, the legal structures are also going to have to change. Governments are going to have to bring in legislation. So a lot of this is happening as we speak. Um, and we've seen a lot of the more arc or realistic CEOs of AI, Ellen being one of them, want to decentralize the AI because they believe that people, other people are trying to gain too much power and centralize that control um, to, to make themselves more powerful where others want to make it more democratizing and have it decentralized. So there are, there's a lot happening at the moment. Um, the actual GPU, I don't know if you saw the new one, I think it's Black Hole from NVIDIA. It's mind-boggling how powerful this thing is. And so the computation is jumping rapidly, expanding in, in its power, and obviously the AI at the same time. And in fact, uh, they're running out of, these things are so powerful, they can consume all the information, everything we've created and now they're going to have to have synthetic data for it to information for it to work off. So it's it's crazy how fast it's going. So every six months it's like um, doubling in capability. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And it definitely will big big data is one of the big things. Um, as I say, it's very helpful when it comes to decision making. But on the other side, not so great with regards to privacy, etc. Anyway, those are some thoughts for today. Um, as usual, you can get back episodes on John Arthur Harris at blogspot.com. Um, and as usual, we'll see you in the next episode.